three in a second. And here we are. I will start with Mentalist map then. As we said before in the game that was rehost, Mentalist needs to get a result here. And oh, he's going to put a house right next to his gold, which is always unfortunate. That's not that but bad. Yeah, not it's not the bad. worst. All right, so I'll start with his map. His map is kind of bad, in my opinion. The one good thing for him is he's kind of up against the edge of the map, which sometimes means you can defend it a little yeah, bit easier. Yeah, I think, I think it's, but, it's, it's not a great map, but he had a great start. He found sheep right away. His boars are pretty much unstealable at the back. Yeah, that's and true. he's going to find all his res really fast so he can go forward that's uh, true. with the Mongols to try and lame a boar. So I, I feel like that is good, but his wood lines are just not good. Yeah, and that's the issue for me. The wood line's all forward, and two out of the three have ponds in them. The one that does not have a pond in it is is very small. But with the Mongols, and I was going to say this last time, with Mongols, you can you can turn a bad map into a good map with the early start if you win a fight early on. So Mentalist is going to go across and try and lame, and meanwhile, Riot actually has a much better map, in my opinion, but two forward boars, and Mentalist has a good chance of finding them for sure. And Riyad's actually mm. going across right now with his own scout. But like you said, Dave, I don't know if he will actually find those boars. And that's a really weird... That's It's not weird, I mean, that's where he has to put it, but it's an ugly lumber camp from Mentalist. Just not the where you... <laughs> it's not the way you want to have your first lumber camp. <laughs> if Riyad finds this boar, that'd be ridiculous, but look at this. Mentalist has already and found Mentalist is, Mentalist is already laming the boar, but he took he took quite a few hits actually, and he might actually find these sheep as well. Oh, that's huge! That's good. huge! He's gonna find it. He's gonna find that, and it actually looks as though Riyad has not ventured back into that corner to find Mentalist boars. Think, and this is exactly what we're Riet talking knows, about. I think Riyad knows that Mentalist took his boar though, because he's looking around, and. Searching for Mentalist. Is he going to see him? Yes. No, yeah, maybe so. Yeah, he's getting there. He sees he's getting it. There. Oh, he's, he's going to find it. Here. Yeah, he, he did take a lot of hits. hits. Oh, and he's gosh. Take he's got to send a villager out. It. Another hit downhill. Send a vill. He's got to send a vill. The vill's coming out. He's oh, he's sending a vill, but the boar stopped. The boar's going back. Is it going to run? I mean, even if it does run... Oh, the Vill's coming out. Whoa. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> well done there from Riot. And the Vill no. is not going to be able to get that boar in. And his Good recovery is so weak, from Riot. But if anything, he got two sheep from that. So um, yeah. not, not the worst possible outcome, but still very annoying that uh, the boar would go back to the last possible second. He was housed, which is always really, really bad. It was a bad house as well. Uh, he does have his other boars getting in now. Meanwhile, Riet, of course, had the sheep there remaining. He's going to find his boar venturing back here in a second. Riet could lure in the deer if he wanted yeah, to they're, as well. Yeah, they're, they're kind of far away. It's same with Mentalist, though. It's in the same location. I think Mentalist is actually going to try and push yeah, the deer now. That's good. That We weren't able to address the deer or really the gold or anything. He's pushing three deer at once. <laughs> no, he's actually just going for one. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, these Mongol games are so fast, we can't talk about anything really because they immediately go to lame. But there is a gold on the right hand side for Riot. He can wall that in really easy. Oh, that's he a could... terrible. Look at where oh. Riot. I mean, it's. It, it ran around the tree, that boar. That's what I thought would. Yeah, I didn't see it, but that's. If you play AOC enough or watch it enough, that sometimes does happen. That's it's really unfortunate. It's just really annoying and unfortunate, yeah. Luckily, he's Mongols, so I mean, you're going to collect that boar pretty fast, so it's not. It doesn't bother no, you. No, I mean, as much. In, the, in the end game, like, it's away by two tiles. It doesn't matter that much, but it's super annoying because you want to be able to drop food right away and yeah. whatnot. And then just your like villagers that. take a couple seconds just to even go around that tree and go gather the boar, so. Mentalist going up on it's 19 bills, Riot going up on 20. Mentalist cutting yeah, the villager there. Mentalist uh, pushing the deer though, and Riot hasn't pushed the deer yet. At all. Look at Mentalist woodlines. Do you think that was the best approach to go for the 19 vill build if you I, are so exposed like this? I feel so. It might be. 
It might yeah. be. Put pressure. I feel like you need to put the opponent. pressure on. Yeah. But that extra and bill's gonna be actually, huge for it. He might actually like wall in between the gold and the stone, and like in between where he's putting his barracks down, just to secure that little like nugget of wood. Yeah. Um, I don't know what he's gonna do for the other lumber camp. Maybe go forward with those villagers or something. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> That's really yeah, exposed. Yeah, go forward. That sounds like a mentalist thing to do. We've seen mentalists go man at arms before with Mongols, but this time it's just not doable for him. Doesn't seem no, not with nineteen up, and he's going forward with two villagers. He's gonna, build he's gonna a drop stable, a stable. Yeah. yeah, and he's gonna he's gonna end up walling. I think around just around those resources to secure that little area. One thing I did notice. He was unable to even get the wood research yet, or the farm research. He's just now getting double bid axe, and Riot, you know, he's getting it at the same time, and he went up a little bit later. Mentalist, I think in game one, had an issue with his researches as well, like his eco balance. This time, certainly as well. Now, this time we could we could say maybe it was because traveling to the wood line caused him some problems, but struggling a little bit with that today. Mentalist is going to have the stables on the hill. Oh, he's housed as well. Is he even building a house? No, it's a bad house. No, he just started. That was a bad house. Oh, man. That was a bad, bad house. And now Ryu's just being super annoying. <laughs> you see what he's doing? He's yeah. just running with his scout. Yep. So That's annoying. Perfect. That's perfect. That's exactly what you need to do. <laughs> I mean, he will eventually kill a villager at this rate. Like, doesn't doesn't if mentalist he have doesn't address it. To do? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> he wants to he wants to win third place. That's what he wants to do. <laughs> oh my god! And mentalist made a series just like screw this. <laughs> <laughs> but he does have he does have two scouts. He's gonna make a third here, um, and he's gonna be able to harass the economy. But three scouts already for for Riot. and he's milled yeah. the forward deer. Um, and it definitely, once again, the theme here seems to be that Ryu is going to have the more stable economy in all of these games. The one thing is, is all the, the, the best players in the world, we talked about it with, like, with, with Yo, and we meant, we've mentioned Viper and, you know, all the top players, uh, in this conversation before, they're more macro players, like, they'll, they'll, they're more defensive Defending is always better than offense at times, and Riot has done that most times in these games. Uh, he's just defended. In game one, he defended. Game two, he's defended. And right now, his economy is what he's focusing on. He's getting wheelbarrow early, and he has his scouts waiting for Mentalist. And Mentalist just hasn't had his eco set up right. He's been housed a couple times. We'll see what Riot does with his scouts. And Mentalist doing the right thing, going around the backside, and he did scout that earlier, but... Reed has already walled it. And he's waiting now for these scouts to come in from Mentalist. He has his spear and a scout there. Might be bad for Mentalist if he gets that. caught yeah. out here. And he's the gonna scout's get coming out. back now from Riot. And he's gonna... I think he's gonna lose most of this army, to be honest. Especially if he goes around that way. Oh, he's gonna sneak by. He's gonna sneak by, but he did receive a couple hits there as well. Well, let's see what Mentalist is doing back at home. He's creating a lot of scouts. He has four on gold. The thing is, is it's going to be hard for Mentalist to be defensive at all here and build up his eco to get to the Castle Age. Like, he has to win some fights here. All right, scouts going back for Mentalist. He's just now getting Ooh, wheelbarrow. Mentalist has already five completed. in his in his stable. Exactly, and he probably is going to get bloodlines here. I feel like he has to put some aggression on and do something. He's losing a lot. Of, ooh, actually, decent fight because he had the spear there. Only a couple Lost units, two scouts, though. but he did lose yeah. two. Yeah. We'll look and at the resources of Riot. coming down for him. <laughs> Riot um, is wow. He's almost on the way up. Almost. Yep, he's well ahead. He's well ahead. And I mean, I'm wondering what's what it's going to take here for Mentalist to ungarrison them. Okay, there he goes. Now he's, well, he's probably going to loop around and go right to the economy from Ryu. But Ryu, almost fully walled now. Yeah, he's going to do the right thing. He's just going to 
you know, make sure he's safe as he clicks up to the castle agent. He's already clicked up. He made like what? Seven scouts? And he's clicked up at a little after 17 minutes, which is an incredible time. Meanwhile, he can still do some damage with his five remaining. Try and go in, but there's three spears there for Mentalist. Mentalist is trying to play it safe, and Riot sees that. Gonna try and pick off one of them here. He might just do that at the expense of his scout. And I don't know if he wants to keep engaging because there's a lot of spears here for Mentalist. But he's gonna run on in. Now the scouts for Mentalist, are they even gonna get in, Dave? I don't... They're going the wrong way. They won't get in. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna be able to... No, I mean... Riot's fully walled, so it's just yeah. at this point it's just whether he can attack a palisade and get in. And he might actually be able to stack against that last palisade wall and get in fairly quickly, but there's tons of ills there that can repair and Yeah. I it's it's gonna be tough for those scouts. Uh someone in the chat mm -hmm. is asking if this is a hole in the north. This is not a hole. If you look at the little uh, white boxes here oh. on the palisades and the tree, that's not a hole. Though it may look like one. Uh, scouts going in then from Riot still. This is causing problems. Riot has been a pest. He really has. <laughs> but he's not going to be able to kill any Vils. Now, interestingly enough, Riot is going with two stables. He's not actually going with archery ranges. Normally you would see... Well, not normally, but often you would see crossbows in these situations. But he's going to go with knights. And I think knights is a fast option because Mentalist has such an exposed economy here. There's also something very interesting in the left corner of the map as well. Oh, <laughs> the bird! Another bird! <laughs> Every time we cast the games, Dave and I is a bird! <laughs> yes! It's not going anywhere. It's, it's not going anywhere. No. Yep. It'll, it'll be there. Don't worry. It will not leave. The Mentalist yeah. has a lot of scouts. He has bloodlines, so he's probably... Uh, well, he could make camels. But I think he's tr he's, he wants to go crossbows, for sure. I think that's what he's he's been trying to set himself up to do. He's going with, oh, another stable now, and probably because he's seen the upgrades here on the scouts from Riot. He's going to lose a vill. So those scouts, mm -hmm. well, they did their job. And now they're going to run away and go find the bird in the corner. And then look at the knights. Knights coming in. Mentalist has four spears. These knights have a lot of upgrades, and they, they'll probably just go right for the villagers here. At the very least, Mentalist is going to have to idle a lot of his vills. Um, and Riot, I mean, just look at Riot. Just attacking a couple vills, making the vills run away, and then just fleeing. He, he's done an excellent job this game. He's still running around with his scouts as well. And he's sending more knights in. Camels. Camels coming out for Mentalist. Uh, to counter the knights. And pikemen. And he's made a nice little... I mean, if he can finish this walling, he's made a nice little community, like lumber colony, at the yeah. front. Two separate ones. And it's been really kind of cool to watch how, how he's been walling this. But where does he place a town center? Yeah, like, there is... On another like, there's robot. really nowhere there's, to put it. And that's nowhere. just unfortunate. Yeah. Because that's just because of the map. That's not because of anything yeah. he's done. Maybe on the gold, on the, the secondary gold. Yeah, the issue is he I, needs I, I wood. Don't know. Wood is the most like yeah. what is the most important resource. So I think Mentalist is gonna have to pile on the pressure here and Rhea is just gonna shore up his defense at home and boom. Uh yeah, we'll just have to see yeah, how this goes. So Mentalist is putting the second T C on the main gold at the back. And he doesn't really You said wood's important, and it is, but he didn't really have anywhere on exactly. the wood to put a TC. Yeah, so Knight's still coming out from Riot. He's going with a Monastery. He has to be careful because there are three Camels here from Mentalist, but he's getting Chain Barding and he should be able to take this fight. Not even Scale Barding from Mentalist. Meanwhile, two TCs for Riot. And Another TC gonna... coming up from Mentalist at the front. Okay, so at least this time around, Mentalist seems to be getting his Eco running, which is great. Mm -hmm. And he does have a lot of camels here. I'm gonna try and chase these knights down. Knights are upgraded, but still it's camels versus knights, but there's a lot of numbers here from Riot. And Riot's gonna try and take this fight, and he's gonna be pushing Mentalist back, I think, here as Mentalist flees, and he had more scouts there than camels for the most part. Yeah, Mentalist, the thing is, Riot can't really push up that hill. Um, although he is making... Oh, he's made a monk to heal the knights, that's really... 
such a Tim play. Oh, he's making more mods. Okay, to go conversion. <laughs> yeah, panels. yeah. I think he's gonna use them for conversions, <laughs> but I mean, at least you know, allow the monk to do something in the meantime. And knights are going back, but Mentalist is doing a good job with these camels, I will say. But the issue for him is he's seven vills behind. I want to take a look at his economy right now. Hey, he's on three TCs. He's keeping the town centers running, which is good. He is able to access wood. It is still exposed. But I, at this point, because Riot did not go into crossbows, he is able to defend the wood lines. But look at this. Riot is going into archery ranges now. And if Riot does go into crossbows, he's going to have access to the wood lines. And also, he's going to mm -hmm. shred those camels as well. So this is this is interesting. Um, Mentalist is going to almost have to go knights himself or no, his dude. Don't you remember the Persian game against Yo? Camels counter everything, including <laughs> halberdiers. Yeah, yeah, correct. Mentalist, Mentalist, Mentalist camels only counter uses camels. every sort of yeah. unit. Yeah, exactly. Mentalist camels have a bonus versus everything. <laughs> <laughs> everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder if Mentalist will be he going is, for a castle because he's on stone. We'll see. He might. I don't know. Oh, we just picked How up a monk with that one scout. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was pretty. But yeah, he's never, only two bills behind say, at this point. Pretty. Please never say pretty, pretty like that again. Please. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, every like everybody in the stream loved it. I mean, everybody's just going wild. <laughs> no. <so. laughs> Everyone's scared of you now. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. If you say so. I actually think Mentalist is going to try and get up to another TC here. And as Mongols, that's what you try and do normally. We have three TCs now for Riot. And I do not see another one for him, actually. Fairly close game. Mentalist is actually ahead in fills, but the issue, I think, is going to be the crossbows when they do come out. Because we're gonna have we're gonna have plus two knights from Riot, and we're gonna have plus two crossbows, uh, and also these knights have bloodlines and forging, so it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of rough for Mentalist to deal with it. But he has, does have a lot of camels and pikemen. Both players now going out for the relics, and Mentalist is gonna take this, and Riot actually might lose another monk here to this scout. Yeah, that, that scout is the real MVP. But if if the scout does pick off the monk, you all know what I'm going to say. That's all I'm saying. You, you all should oh, be prepared no, for it. Oh, no, but Mentalist is going to lose the monk now. No! <laughs> he can get away. I trust. He can survive that, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course he can survive that. This is going to be the fight we've been waiting for, though. Ballistic's coming in from, for Riot on his uh, crossbows. Knight's coming in, and I do not think Mentalist is prepared for the crossbows. I mean, he has a lot of resources. He's he's waiting for the castle, I think, and he's waiting for Imperial. And this is bad. This is really bad for him. Uh, he doesn't even have plus two defense on his camels here. He's running away. He's fleeing. Um, I wonder if he has a market. He does not have a market. Castle. He's going to go for the siege workshop. workshop. going down right there, but it's going to be tough to if, get that down. If and he has a little bit more time, he is, can go to castle. Yeah, and the unfortunate thing is that's the only real place he can place it, you know what build I mean? It, yeah. the hills. He could so delete his TC and then build the castle. <laughs> delete the TC, <laughs> build the castle. <laughs> he has enough to go up too, to Imperial. I know. Oh, he's going to build it there. That's one spot he, he can build it. Building, so. And he might be able... Yeah, the castle will be the buildings he needs. And, uh... Oh, but Riot's going to go right underneath the TC and he could probably take it. And, oh, man, Mentalist oh, no! is going to have to flee or at least commit to this. This is going to be huge. Both players committing delete here. Barracks. Just delete it. <laughs> Oh, wow, way. and Riot, he's going to go back. The TC's going to stay up, and Mentalist is going to get this castle up. That was a big engagement there for Mentalist. Uh, still, Riot staying here. He's going to fight underneath this TC, and the TC is firing. Keep that in mind. And a Maganel will come out here from Mentalist out of the Siege Workshop. He built below the town center. Castle goes up. Riot goes back. Mentalist will click up out of the main TC. And I don't think Riot's going to be too far behind him either. I'm looking, oh wow, his eco is actually pretty imbalanced, but he's going to click up shortly. Oh, Riot yeah, has it is, three actually, relics. wow. Yeah, but... And he's going, he's, Riot's actually dropping a castle as well. The one thing about Riot's he... imbalance 
is that it's heavy on wood and gold, and he's going to be making mega dies. Both players are, so it's not a huge deal. He's just clicked up, and it's not a big deal. Knights are still a big deal for Mentalist, though. I mean, like, he's unable to deal with the knights and, and crossbow combo, and um, he just is trying to defend and wait for mega die production. He has, I think, only one castle here. I don't know if he's building another one. He does have stone coming in from the back, and Mentalist is losing two villagers here. Riyad is, is just really being a pain. Keep in mind, Riyad already has the upgrades for the crossbows, and that'll go forward for the manga dies as well. I don't know actually what Mentalist has. He's actually missing Bodkin Arrow. And for sure, I do not think Mentalist has Thumb Ring. But what is happening here? Was that a castle going up for Mentalist? Yeah, it was. And you, you, no, it was a university, I think. Oh, located. gotcha. He doesn't even have ballistics now. That's big. I mean, Riyadh's well ahead, I think, with the researches for the Manga Dai. And Oh, Mentalist's going to lose two more Vils here. Two more Vils underneath this TC. And now Riyadh is ahead by 10. At some point, he's going to have to pick this fight. And he's saved those camels for so long. I don't think he's made a camel for, like, five minutes. This is just the existing camels. Yeah. But he can get Elite Manga Dai right away. And he can get Heavy Camel right away. And we know he loves Heavy Camel. And does he have one stable? Oh, he has two this time, Dave. <laughs> Last time he researched Heavy Camel out of one stable. I don't, I don't know if he's. I don't know if he's actually gonna get Heavy Camel. Takes a long time to research. Yeah, yeah. But he only has. I mean, he's gonna have these villagers exposed here. Oh, he's gonna repair the TC. What? He's gonna try Why? and sacrifice these villagers to kill these Why? units. I don't know. They're not elite Manga Dai. He doesn't even have plus two. Yeah. Bod Canero Bracer and he's taking this fight, but the heavy camels somehow, I mean maybe we they're not heavy camels, but they're they're mentalist camels. Camels, man. <laughs> yeah, they're we mentalist told you camels. Before, re or mentalist camels get like a bonus. Yeah. That, like a hidden bonus. And yeah. he just mopped the floor with that army. Yeah. And he exactly. only lost he didn't he how many bills did he lose? He lost like maybe five? Ah he lost, Over there, he lost and a he's, couple. He's putting another castle on the hill there, which is good. He's gonna get that up. That that's huge. More. That's huge. Yeah, but he needs but to he get needs, elite Magadai. He needs elite Magadai. He can get it. He can get it for sure. And he needs another castle. Yeah. Right now, Riot's on two. Mentalist is on two. But if you look at the upgrades from Riot, he does have Bracer, and he has elite Magadai, and he's gonna have chemistry too. He's getting Parthian tactics as well. Um, so, and is he gonna? Is Mentalist gonna drop another castle? I didn't even notice this freaking colony. I didn't either. I didn't either. The map. Yeah, and there's what more stone there as well. There? There's more stone as well. But the left or the top side or, or whatever, more Mentalist is is in a bad spot here. The Elite Manga Dai are are here. The Knights are here, and that TC could probably go down to the Knights and, and Elite Manga Dai if if Mentalist does not address this. He's getting Elite Manga Dai himself. He's getting his upgrades. But he just lost a lot of his economy to this raid. Um, and I don't know why he, lost, he sent he units lost, like, over three to villagers. the other side. It's not that much. I mean, well, the villager he's, he's difference is 20, 21 at this point. Yeah. But uh, he's going to clean up that army. So is it worth it to kill three villagers and lose that entire army? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's look at the castles now. We have three for Riot. Uh, Riot's getting conscription now. I do not know. I don't, do not believe Mentalist has that. But Mentalist is trying to get his castles up. Trying to shore up his defenses. What you need to do in a Mongols game. Look at the wood line on the right hand side for Mentalist. There's one crossbow there from Riot. Yeah, it's been sitting. I've been watching it, dude. It's been sitting there forever. And finally, he sends a Megadai over. Yeah. Like it, killed, like, it killed like four villagers and it killed like three more. Yeah, but anyway, we have the um, Elite Mangadai here on the hill guarding this castle. Right now, I, I don't see much. Oh, wow. Castle's going up from both Re and Mentalist on the right-hand side next to oh, Mentalist TC. And I don't think... I think Ryut sees that Mentalist, but Mentalist doesn't see Ryut's. Yeah. No, he doesn't. It, at this point, Mentalist, he's not going to be able to get his... Uh, uh, he's got to go back, and this is bad for him because he has a TC there, he's a wood line there, he's stone there, and he's going to lose a lot of these villagers if he's not careful. He already had a couple weak ones to begin with, 
He's already behind 20 villagers and... Oh, no. oh gosh. Oh, gosh. This is bad. No! He's either committing he to it or... It. Yeah, yeah he, he did not realize gosh. there. Um, However, military I think... numbers, Mentalist is actually leading. Yeah, and he's gonna he's gonna push this castle at the north side, uh, with a treb, and I think he's actually gonna get that down because he has the hill advantage over that. Um, Does so that's he? A good I feel fight, like it's the same elevation. That, no, it, it, he's got one more. If you okay. look. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, but on the south, that's I mean, bad. he's losing a ton of villagers to the Magadai, and he's gonna retreat, which is smart with his wood villagers there. Probably back to the castles and make a lumber yeah. camp on the other side of the map. Yeah, he's got he's got to stay underneath his castles now, and Rhea just seems one step ahead with the upgrades. I mean, yeah. just getting Thumbring a moment ago as mentalist, and he's just now getting Parthian tactics as well. And, yeah, and Rhea, this could Rhea's be a big fight, Zara, which can raid and, and be and really Rhea's annoying come as, in well. as well. Uphill, Rhea is trying to fight this, and I don't think that's a good fight for Rhea. You see, that hill's really deceptive. Like, it, it kind of looks like you're at the same elevation, but you're not, and that was a good fight for Mentalist. Yeah. But you're right, the Hussar is going to be a huge upgrade. A lot of raid. Oh, look at the Magadai on the bottom side from Rhea. Yeah, Just I two of them. That. Yeah. Killing some villagers there. Uh, it's still little ugly. Things. And it's a little Mentalist things. has to shift, like, 40 villagers, which he's in the process of doing right now, yeah. over to the north side of the map. Uh, and his farming economy here is going to be get wrecked by these Mangadai. Yeah. Five Mangadai is going to wreck his entire economy over there. It's going to be really messy. <clears throat> yeah, so that castle, it's being repaired from Riot. There's only two Trebs from Mentalist, so I think Riot's just biding his time, repairing, building up his units. He has if he Hussars really wanted fully to, upgraded, so... If he wanted to, he could go forward with his Magadai and pick those off, but it's going to cost him like five Magadai, I think, yeah. to get those trebs. But he can repair for the time being, and he's just waiting till he has enough Hussar to engage. And he might just engage now. The Hussar, they're a really good meat shield here. He might patrol in behind the Hussars. But you and... gotta make sure you use them with your Magadai, and you yeah. just wasted a ton of them. You didn't them. really use them. And Mentalist even using the Trebs to come kill uh, some of these Magadai, but I, I think Reed has more, but Mentalist has a better position. Ah, uh, it still looks like Riot is is gonna take this fight for some reason. I, I, just the military numbers overall, but another castle going up for Mentalist right behind the Trebs? That's bad if he's gonna lose the fight. And I, I think he is going to lose the fight. Oh, and he's going to lose the fight. And he could lose the game It's going to be, yeah, GG. Oh, wow. Wow! Are you kidding me? I was not expecting this. I was not expecting this at all. Riyad has just... He's played so well. I mean, Fencelist, his map was not great. And his map was not great when he, great when he called the re either. But I was not expecting this result at all. I don't know about you. Probably everyone would agree with me. Crazy. Yeah. I feel like it could it could have gone either way, you know what I mean? And it's still yeah. not over. Like oh, we, we I could agree. easily see Mentalist busting out a three game win streak here. I know, I know. It's great. Uh, let's look at the achievements real quick for everybody. hundred forty kills for Riot in the lead there. As far as largest army goes, there's only seven in it. Riot just taking his fights when he needed to. The resource is well ahead for Riot. Well ahead. More than any game, really. He was, he was more ahead in this game. And uptime's not a huge difference, to be honest. I think that the villager high was, was really telling. And actually, the relic gold was interesting, too. But the next game's going to start shortly here. And I'll change the scores.